What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust your valve clearances on your uh, V-twin or single cylinder engines on like lawn mowers. Uh, it's very simple, um, but I'm just going to basically give you some uh, general information, show you how to do it. So let's get started. So I have this Toro engine here and this is the one that I took out of, uh, swapped out because it, it dropped a valve. Uh, bent a valve and it actually did some damage in here to the um, cylinder wall. I don't know if you guys can see these uh, indentions right there. That's where the uh, valve basically hit the cylinder wall. So it's really not worth rebuilding. It costs more to try to fix that than just replacing the engine. So I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to make several videos. I'm kind of dismantling it. I was going to sell some of these parts, maybe on eBay or something. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how to adjust your valves. All right, so the valves need to be adjusted uh, depending on um, the engine manufacturer. Check with your, on your, uh, your engine's service interval is what I'm trying to say. So usually around 200 hours is very typical. And normally uh, on a lot of like Kohler and Kawasaki's, the clearance that you need to have is 0 0.005 would be like right in the middle. A lot of them will say anywhere from 0 0.004 to 0 0.006 or 7. So for this video, I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna be shooting for 0 0.005. Now one thing uh, you'll notice if your valves are too loose and they get out of adjustment, you're gonna lose some power and you're gonna hear a lot of clicking and clacking and ticking. And you want to get those valves uh, checked out and adjusted because one thing that can happen is if they get too loose, uh, the push rod, you know, the rocker arm here can come 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 loose, and the push rod can shoot out of and break your. Um, it can damage the head. It can damage the valve cover. Do a lot of damage. So check this. Make sure you're checking your valve clearances as specified by the engine manufacturer. So uh, first thing I, I would recommend that you do is remove both spark plugs and then you're going to want to be able to rotate the engine because we need to get it on each cylinder that you're doing. You need to have the piston at top dead center. All right guys, so the reason I said to uh, remove both the spark plugs is that way you can rotate the engine and not build up any compression. And plus you're going to need to be able to determine uh, when the piston is at top dead center. And so the easy way to do this, you can either turn it on the top crank bolt or probably the bottom one might be easier to access on a lot of, on a lot of engines, on a lot of mowers, because you'll probably have, maybe have a shroud up here. But either way, you're gonna need to be able to rotate the engine over by hand. And so you're gonna be looking for when these um, rocker arms are moving. So right now what you want to do is, the easy way to do it is when one, right now that's the exhaust one, so that one's going down, and then immediately this one's, as soon as this one comes back up, this one's going to start going down. This is the, the uh, intake valve, and we're wanting the piston at top dead center on the compression stroke, and so now if this engine were running, it's let the air in, it's about to shut, the, in, the piston is now going to start coming up, and just use like a punch, or I use oftentimes just a quarter inch extension. Stick it down in there, and you can feel when the, the piston comes up all the way to the top, and then you'll see that it stops, and you wanna get it right where, you know, as it starts to go back down, you wanna get it where it's kinda of right in the middle. So I'm now I'm going in reverse, so, so I wanna find it where it's right in the middle, so it's at, at the very top. And this is where your valves are going to be uh, set where they need to be adjusted. These are really loose. Um, so we're trying to go from, for this, this example, I'm going to set it at 0 0.005. And usually on this uh, engine specs, they'll give a range. It might be from 007 to 004. So I'm shooting for 005. And if it falls in between there, if I'm in spec, I'll, we'll leave it alone. 
Sometimes there's like a little Allen head or um, some engines might have, you know, different way to uh, adjust it, but they're all going to be kind of basically the same in, in how they work. There's going to be a larger um, nut here that goes against the rocker arm. And so that's the one that's going to be adjusted to make it tighter or looser on the, on the valve, the rocker arm on the valve. And then this second nut is going to lock that one in place. Once we have this one right where we want it, this one's going to, we're going to tighten these against each other. But what you want to do is when you have this perfectly set, you, you want to, it's going to be just very slight will make a big difference. Slight movement of this main set nut right here. So as you go to tighten this one, you got to make sure that one doesn't move. All right, so if I go to slip in the 005, where did it go? Here. All right, so what I'm going to do is slightly, I'm just going to use my hand for right now, and I'll just let it hang. Just let it hang right there. And so now here's the hard part. Now I have to tighten this up against that one without tightening or loosening this nut at all. So you want to just very carefully put that one on there. And I'm kind of holding pressure in the reverse direction of tightening in like basically the loosening direction as I'm tightening this one because I'm trying for that bigger nut not to move. All right, guys, I want to give you a more close up look of what's going on here. Where you're sliding that feeler gauge is right, right there is where you're sliding the feeler gauge. All right, so there's the valve stem. And I'm not sure if you guys can see any light between there. Right there. So now, I'm going to show you more of an up close look of what I'm doing here. So guys, just the slightest amount of movement uh, when you're trying to tighten up the, the lock nut basically or to lock against the other nut, just the slightest movement of this one as you're tightening this one makes a big difference. So. Um, here's one thing that I would do a lot because it'll take sometimes it'll take several attempts I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this one back up And again, we're going to try to go to 005 so What I'll do sometimes is hang the um, Gauge so let me find the 005 right here I'll take the whole um, set of gauges there and I'll, I'll let it hang but even if it falls, it's not that important right now. You're trying to feel with your wrench that this isn't going to move one way or the other as you tighten this other. So I'm kind of having to hold pressure as if I'm loosening it as I'm tightening this one. You see my filler gauge starting to drop. And I'm actually loosening up the other nut just a hair, but sometimes it'll still, now it's really tight. All right, so I'm gonna have to try it again, and I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do a lot is, so now I'm gonna loosen this up. And I'm gonna back off just a little bit, let that gauge fall. So as I'm backing, Applying that pressure, see the gauge fall. I stop right there and hold it, and it's in the range of my wrench there where it's got that tension on it, and then I start to tighten it, the other one. And we'll probably be within spec here. So it's still tight on the 05, but let's see if, if we're within range on the 04, and it's going in, okay? So technically, we're within spec. Even though I was shooting for 005, I'm at 004. And if that's within spec, you're good to go. Now, what I would recommend doing after you've done that, you've got everything's tight, 
and your feeler gauges are going in there nice, rotate the engine over at least once or twice. Let those valves do its job again. So now I've watched that one go down. This one's gone down, coming back up. So now I'm coming up on the compression stroke. Put it back at the top dead center again. And recheck it. Feels even better now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. I probably can't even fit the 06 in there, but I can fit the O. Yep. Perfect. We're right on the money. 0 0.005. So one other thing I want to say, guys, is one, I want to apologize for saying 004 and 005. I should be saying four thousandths or five thousandths of an inch. It's just a bad habit that I've developed over the years. So that's the correct way to say that. I shouldn't be saying 005 and 006. But um, another thing is check your specific engine, the valve clearances, because like I said, the range might be from uh, three thousandths to five thousandths for one valve, and it might be something different for the other valve. So the intake valve clearance might have a different range than the exhaust valve clearance. And especially if you're a commercial uh, mower or landscaper, um, I would recommend doing this probably twice a year, uh, but at least, I wanna say a lot of them say every 200 hours, but um, it, it's so easy to do. Once you've done it a couple of times, I would probably do it about every, every 100 hours. And if you're just a regular uh, homeowner with a single cylinder of Briggs or something, uh, probably just do it once a year is probably all you need to do. But I hope this video helped you guys out. And speaking of that, Briggs, I'm probably going to make a video. I need to do mine on my little Husqvarna. So I'll probably make another video specifically for that engine. So do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.